Mm. Uh, building a structure for yourself to succeed in business and to succeed in life. Okay, so how do you succeed in business uh, financially? And how do you succeed in life? And we are also going to be looking at um, relocation through jobs. Okay, so we're going to be looking at that alone in details. So let's start with how do you succeed in finances and business you know in life now succeeding in finances or succeeding in your business in and succeeding in life as a whole is coming from it should come from an understanding of what success is success is when you want to get to a point from a particular point that is you are going to point B from point A. So, success is relative. What point A means to a man is different from what point B means to another man. So, you have to understand that um, when you have to succeed in life, all you might need might be different from somebody else. And this is where the first problem is because a lot of people like to copy people. You don't need to copy people. You just need to understand how much do I want to raise? How much money do I want to make? You may not be able to answer that question at the beginning, but as time goes on, the answer to that question will begin to surface. So what are the steps to make myself move from point A to point B financially, move my business from point A to point B. Let me first take the business, I mean the finance own. Number one, you need to build a financial structure. So you build a financial structure. So what does the financial structure look like? Every time income comes into my hand, 30% goes to uh, maybe my investment or my savings, 70% goes to spending, 10% goes to a particular place. So you can have something like that. That is a structure. And for you to do that effectively, part of what you can do is that you can have an arrangement with the bank or you can have an arrangement with... Um, um, a, you can do a standing order in the bank and... 30% is taking somewhere, 10% is taking somewhere, 70% is taking somewhere. So that's number one uh, step you have to take. Number two step is that you have to be consistent with what you have put down in line with the future you are going to. So let's say you want to raise a 500 thousand naira capital or you want to raise a five million or you want to raise a 500 million or let's say you want to raise five billion capital then that little drops that you have set aside for a long period of time you can make it on autopilot and then make sure you stick to it when you stick to it like that you can now go to number three use the money in number two to get OPM in number three. What is OPM? Other people's money. So if you are looking at like a 500 billion kind of uh, amount or you are looking at 500 million, you might want to take the deposit you have dropped over a period of time to stand as the 20% or the 10% you have to give to a bank to be able to raise the 90% or the 80% or the 70% the bank will need to give you. But if you are not going to go to bank, that simply means you are going to borrow more time so that you don't have to use OPM, you just have to use your personal money, okay? Then number four is that you have to look at why you are doing all the setting aside of the money. You have to look at what you are going to put the money inside so like an investment so if you are if you are going to do the business then you have to start looking at okay if i pull out this money that i put aside over a period of time and put it into business or whatever i want to do this is going to be the result so that way 
you will have, have an understanding of what you want to put your hard earned savings into. And if you do that, it's going to save you from all these um, I lost money, I lost money stories. Why? Because you fully prepare yourself. And that takes me into the business side of it. You have to have a structure. So to succeed in business now, while you are looking at all of those things, you need to have a structure. What is a business structure? A business structure is you know what exactly your business delivers. What is the product of your company? When will you deliver it? How do you deliver it? Which kind of personality do you need to deliver it? Which kind of personality do you need to produce it? Which kind of personality do you need to produce the service that will maintain the product? So you need to put a structure in place and then you need to draw that out. So what's the flow? You need to, number one, draw the flow of attention to the customer let's assume a customer comes to your office and wants to buy your product what are the processes that takes place for that customer to be able to buy you need to put that in place number one then you look at the kind of personality that we need to attend to them now if you put a wrong personality in a place where you are selling the right product the company is going to suffer it the revenue will drop let me give you a simple example. You have a store or a supermarket, and then you put a girl there that is a choleric. And because she's a lady and she's a choleric, you put her there because she can speak good English, which is not bad. She might not be able to deliver. Why? Because of the kind of person she is. For you to have that, you need a blend of a sanguine that is like 70% and then some bits of choleric. And that's when you can be able to deliver that kind of result you desire from your supermarket. Now, who is a sanguine? So that takes you to say, okay, what are the characteristics of the person I'm going to employ? So what you are doing simply is that you are building structure for your business. You document that process that, okay, if anybody wants to buy, they first come to the shop, they ask for what they need. And once they ask what they need, the person that will attend to them must attend to them this way so that we can be able to make this quantity of sale. For her to attend to them this way, she must be this kind of personality. And if you put that out, that can be quite demanding. That's why you need business consultants that can do all of that for you. So if you put that out there and then you have it in your book, if the lady leaves, the next person you are going to employ already has a characteristic she must meet. So when you are doing interview for the person, you already know what you are looking for. And this is where a lot of small businesses have problems. When you have somebody that just right outside, sales girl needed urgently, you put it outside, and the sales girl come, and she's not fitting in to able to deliver what you want okay so the same thing happens in big organization corporate places you see that somebody is fighting for more salary without having the prerequisite skills to be able to deliver what the position he or she is running after is able to deliver so delivery can affect the profitability of the organization so you need to spell out the structure in form of book number two you need to systemize your operation so um if you don't put system in your business the business might not might have a lot of stuff okay so let me give you an example our body works on a system so if you take a muzzle of a bar or a muzzle of anything into your mouth now, there's a process that is followed. There's digestive system, there's circulatory system. Okay, that may still be difficult, right? But this is what I'm saying. When you want to go to bank, when you go to bank right now, there's a system. You don't have to have the MD of a bank in 
all the branches for the branch to function. Why? They have a system that runs the bank. Okay, so when you enter the bank, all you need to do is go to the session that you want to do transaction. Whether you want the Forex, whether you want to cash money, whether you want to pay in money, whether you want ATM card. Now, when you go to that session, the person calls you, and the next thing he wants to check is, okay, if you want to withdraw money, he checks your account, and when he checks your account, he sees that, okay, you have a particular balance, and this is the maximum amount you can collect. You give an instruction, and then the money is withdrawn and paid and all of that. Now, that is a procedure. That is a system. So um how 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 do that work so you need to infuse that in your business okay everybody that works in the office have to arrive by eight now so so set of workers have to arrive by seven so that they can make the place suitable for all of us that are coming by eight and by 6 p.m we must have shut down this app and that software and this one so that we can close for the day if your business does not have all these systems i'm sorry it's going to have a lot of um that there, there, there'll be a lot of issues that you have to deal with now when you have all these systems what do they help you to do it takes me to number three they helps you to acquire customer and retain customer now uh, before i go to acquire customer and retain customer one of the system is the sales system now, when you talk about sales system, you have to talk about marketing plan. When you talk about marketing plan, you have to talk about what is your plan for marketing. So if your customer base is 1,000, you want to shift the customer base from 1,000 to 10,000 within 12 months, then you have to look at how do we advertise, how do we market, where do we market to, where our customer and uh, what amount are we going to spend? How much is the income of the organization? And you know, you put all of that. Then you you acquire customer and you retain them. Different ways um, you can use to acquire and retain customer depending on the size of your business. You might just want to use an email marketing. You might just want to use a community-based system. You might just want to use. A very simple system of getting back to your customer every now and then popping up in their faces so um, you need to have that structure that is what is going to make your business turn around now when you say a business is growing what is growing in a business is that you put all those systems together and the customer base is growing that's when you say a business is growing because if the customer base is growing the revenue will grow, the cash flow will grow, eventually the profit will grow. Now, if all those ones are not growing, if it is the staff that are growing, the business may die. So, you need to understand how these things work. That if you put all these structures together, then eventually you can now begin to... Um, make money um you know successfully in your business i'm gonna go on a short break right now when i'm back um we talk about you know if people are looking at uh, getting job outside nigeria particularly in canada how do you go about it step by step stick around and go Thank you. 
Okay. Okay. Welcome back. The Money Magnet Show. So, um, uh, you can call in on zero seven hundred ten twenty one ten twenty one. That's the phone number with which to get across to me in the studio right here. I uh, know some people on their way to their um, to the office, and um, <clears throat> if you want to send me a WhatsApp message. You can send me a WhatsApp message on 0907-224-5018. Okay, so let's find a job right here. Let's say we are looking for a chef. And then the moment I type chef into jobbank.gc.ca, um... I'm I'm waiting for the result to give me a chef. Okay, so right here I have chef inspired group of restaurant, and um, they need a chef. Then this other one to need a chef, nineteen dollars. The total search for a chef in Canada right now is over 2000 so they need over 2000 chef right now so let's assume that you have this um let's assume that you have okay let me look at this new job so i just come here uh your salary annually is $65,000 canadian dollars to 100,000 canadian dollars now, so the first thing you do is that you go to jobbank.gc.ca. The work you want to do, you type it into the search bar. Once you type it there, you will look at all the features that um, uh, the job requires. So you see the salary there. Is it permanent? Is it full-time, day, evening, weekend? Uh, when am I going to start? How many vacancies? Um, what language do I speak? Uh, what is the qualification? This is very important. What is the number of years of experience? This is very important. And then you go further to look at, um, you know, how to apply. Okay. So you click on show how to apply. The moment you click on show how to apply, it's going to show you the website or it's going to show you the recruiting agency. So this particular one I pick is showing me the recruiting agency, okay? So while it's coming up with the recruiting agency, 08, um, 0700 1021 1021 is the phone number with which you can call me right here in the studio. For those of you that likes to call me towards the end of the show, please go ahead and make your call earlier so that when it's time for to wrap up, I will not have to extend it a little. 0907-224-5018. I take that again. 0907-224-5018 and uh, for the phone line to call me 0700-1021-1021 so I went to the website the link takes me to the website and they state here required experience and qualification with a diploma, you are you are good to go. I work as a chef right here. So uh, what you need is uh, apply now. Let me let me be sure they don't really have any problem. So you just send your CV to jobs at catnox.com. So you will have made your CV in Canada format and you know you now send it out to that particular email i'm i'm trying to pick um the job offers that covers both nigeria and outside so but basically that's what you do after you have done that if they give you a job offer 
you are going to now apply uh, with the offer that they have given you. And that's what you take to the embassy. They are going to work on LIMA uh, for you. And then you will use the LIMA to be able to get work permit. Um, I've said all of that. Let me see the possibility of going on a short break. When I'm back, we'll continue with the show. Stick around and go away. Ah, this boy does not know. Okay, welcome back. The Money Magnet Show 0700 1021 1021. And um, you can just reach out to me right here in the studio 0700 1021 1021. And then you can also send me a WhatsApp message on 0907 224 5018. Okay, so. Um, Okay, saying that, uh, saying that is, okay, let me see, okay, so, 0700, 1021, 1021, so, uh, basically, if you want to get any job, you just need to go to the website, and that is where your processing starts from. Now, the employer can tell you, after they have gotten the LIMA for you, you have to do scan, you have to do a lot of other things for you to be able to apply for visa, for the work permit. You are going to apply for the work permit here, but you won't first get a job there first. This is similar to what goes on with the Australia arrangement, where you can actually um, get a job and in that job they will process your visa and every other thing you need and the employer will be the one to sponsor every single thing so it's an opportunity um for you to you know get that kind of employer so some of those type of employers are needed and you see all manner of jobs that you don't even ex that you don't even think of you know they are available like you know if you look at the fashion line if you look at the carpentry line if you look at all of those lines there are all manners of job that you don't even think of that you can take on okay you know even where you're calling us from okay we lost that call i'll go on a short break when i'm back we'll continue the show stick around and go away Had. Let me call him. I didn't see him. What happened now? 
You may not know that I'm in radio because we don't used to have radio on Thursday. Okay, you told him. I want him to send the broadcast. Skills check, please. Live on my case. Yeah, good. Is he also going in? Is he coming in? No. Okay, welcome back to the Money Magnet Show. So uh, we've been talking about, uh, you know, uh, building a structure for your finances and building structure for your business that makes it possible for you to succeed. And I haven't said that. Um, one of the thing is that we now jump over, um, um, we jump over to, um, when you have to get a word a job in canada um so there are two approaches to that you can just go get a job or you can go through visitors visa and between now and 2025 the visitors visa route is such a great one and um you know you can get to canada and get a job okay you can get to canada and get a job so it it is something as beautiful as that and you get to canada with a visitor's visa you look for a job you get a job there once you do that you are home and dry okay so um i haven't said that let me look at um um somebody asked me yesterday about being a medical doctor and then i'm going to look at that straight away um if you have a question for me please um call me on 0700 1021 1021 and if you want to send me a whatsapp message uh send the message to 0907 224 5018 your name and where you're calling us from Good morning. Okay, talk to me, sir. Uh, you go to jobbank.gc.ca. You look for a job that 
you want to do and then you will see the territory there are different territories there and provinces you pick the one you want and then you check the bottom part of it you will see where to apply you make your cv at resume.io and then you send in your application that's the way to go about that the moment your employer gives you an offer then uh, they are supposed to make LIMA for you. Once they do that, you can then go ahead to apply, you know, with, for PR or for work permit as you cross over to Canada. Your name and where you're calling us from? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Go ahead, sir. Okay, so um, what you do is that um, you can actually do that in about um, two ways. Number one is that you can get Banco.ai to write a story for you. And when it writes a story for you, you package that and you put it on Amazon. And then they pay into your Nigerian bank account and then number two is that you can use used articles uh, to create a story for yourself put the book together and upload it on amazon so basically those are the two major ways to be able to do that now i have daniel here uh daniel wants to share with us about and i have a, I have a good morning Okay, jobbank.gc.ca. GC.ca. Jobbank.gc.ca. Yeah, letter G and C.ca. Okay, so I have Daniel in the house here, and Daniel has come to talk about the seminar I will be facilitating on Saturday. Daniel, good morning. Good morning, Lucas. Good morning. So please talk to us. Okay, the five in one seminar is happening this Saturday with Dr. Successful Sumi. Okay. Just as we said, it is a five in one seminar, it is um, a whole lot of um, business um, opportunity that you will gain from ideas and benefit from this seminar um why do we call it five and one um you are only paying for one fee but you're enjoying five benefits now what are the benefits of being part of the seminar number one we're going to be looking at seven websites that you set up and you to start paying into your nigerian bank account meaning right in the class you set up you learn those websites set those websites up and then they'll start paying into your Nigerian bank account. Number two, you're going to be learning what we call Bancor.ai, how to use Bancor.ai to write a book, even when you don't know much about internet, you don't know much about writing a book. So you might be very poor in English language, maybe you even have, um, your grade was not too good. There's a way that software will write for you and you will write sound English correct book on that five to ten minutes. So we're going to be showing you that and how you will now take that book, put it on different platform. They will pay into your Nigerian bank account. The one book you have written once is the only one you have written and then you keep on making money on autopilot. So even when you are sleeping and someone is buying your book in Japan, in Brazil, in Australia, they pay you and the money comes and then you are able to receive it here in Nigeria. So all of that is uh, what we're going to explain. It's a full seminar on its own, So, but we're going to put in it as part of this 5-in-1. 
Okay. Okay, number three, you're going to be learning how to convert your phone into a money making machine. Okay, so meaning that there are some basic apps you need to have on your phone that can make you to make money. So there are some apps you will download on your phone and those apps will be working on your phone every day. They have to stay on your phone every day and then they will generate you money. How do you you how you will send that money to your bank account? We are also going to be talking about that. Okay, also you'll be learning secret to um, getting jobs and work online effortlessly. Okay. Even when you don't know much about the internet. So we talk about uh, Smart Work Africa. Okay, so how do you go there and do freelancing job? and all so we're going to be talking about that and then number five we're going to be looking at how to get your business on point how to avoid business failures for entrepreneurs and business owners okay so if if you are uh, listening to me and then you have a small business that you have struggled with for years and then you are not scaling and coming to profitability you are having problem with staff they are stealing your money your revenue base is not moving and in fact you are planning to close down the business or you want to scale it up to the next phase then you can bring you can be part we're going to be discussing solutions to all manner of um, uh, business problems and you know how do you handle them so we're going to be discussing that Okay, so remember that this is coming up this Saturday and the venue is going to be communicated to only those who show interest in it. Now, the gate fee is just 25000 for those who would pay between now and 12 in the midnight. The, the, the gate fee is actually 85000 but the discount is coming because of popular demand. Some people started... And so we had to start looking at, okay, what are we going to do? How do we talk to all the people that, um, you know, um, are involved because of the location, the, uh, the ambience and all of that. So we had to start looking at all of that so that, you know, it will be very accommodating. And then we just say, okay, let the discount run till today. For those that want to pay twenty five thousand, so from tomorrow, if anybody is paying tomorrow, is paying fifty three thousand. If anybody is paying on Saturday, is going to pay eighty five thousand. Okay, so the twenty five thousand ends today by twelve midnight. So what phone number can they call if they want to be part of that? Okay, you can call this number zero eight one one four five four five. 706. I'll take that again. 0811 45 45 